Hello everyone and welcome to Skyver Studio. If you don't know me, my name is Puza, Skyver community member. I'm so thrilled to have you all here for today's competitive edition of the stream. It's conquest mode time. So just a quick reminder, in, at Monday we we started a beginner's guide. We did constructed mode yesterday, so Tuesday we did beginner's guide, but this time, that time we did a discovery mode. Today, no more beginner stuff, no more cosplay. We are getting serious. We are doing the most competitive mode of all, conquest, as you can recognize by the art behind me, the statues. So, yeah, that's it. I don't see any reason to prolong the beginning. Actually, let me introduce some uh, live viewers. Welcome, Holo. Welcome, welcome everyone. So, let's dive straight into it, shall we? Okay, so today we're going to explore some meta decks. So, the mo best performing decks in the game right now, currently. First, we're going to uh, check out Banjo Grover. So, let's review the deck briefly. So, this deck, this deck's most important card is the three cost Grover. As you can see, we have only one card that costs three. It's Grover. Uh, I didn't want to do that. One second. <laughs> one second. I wanted to highlight the card, but I actually removed it. Let me go back to to my um, to my Gro Banjo Grover. Here it is. So as you can see, it has summon effect. Discard a one cost unit of each element from your deck. So basically, this deck are uh, this deck uh, resolves around the Grover. So you want to play the Grover as soon as possible and just discard all of these one cost units, and then powerful stuff happening. You can play World Tree that becomes super big. You can play Frenzy. Uh, with the play effect, if you have seven or more dead one cost cards, summon a copy of this unit. The big friend has minus one cost for each of your dead one cost cards. Sky Phoenix also relies on the elements in your deck, uh, in your grave. So, powerful, powerful deck. But it struggles actually. If you cannot play quickly Grover and you cannot fish it out, because we have some, uh, some tutors to fish out Grover. For example, think twice into um, into Eldritch Lore, Eldritch Lore into <laughs> Cassian Chrome. You can get also them from Aris Insight. So a lot of cards that can actually get you in the end Grover, but there are some games that actually will not happen in the selection card. No, no tutors for Grover and then this deck will struggle a, a lot, but this is actually uh, less likely. Uh, then, uh, then that you will actually get Grover. So let's try out uh, this deck first. We are going to play with two decks today. Let's just ju jump right into it. All right, let's lock and play. <coughs> As Hollow says in the ch Twitch chat, he's saying it's 80% to have Grover on the opening selection. I mean, not. Not certainly like Grover, the, the free cost card, but tutors for, for that card. Alright. Okay, we found the game. Let's go to my loading screen for first round of Conquest. I hope you guys enjoy my loading screen for today. This is for first round, obviously. All right, and let's go to the gaming scene. Okay, let's switch uh, the music from the background to the in-game music. Okay, we, and we are playing against Just Simon. I believe Just Simon is playing the City Dev deck that I'm intending to play as the second deck of today. And we, in fact, hit Grover, but actually the City Grave deck is a good counter to the Grover deck, so I might struggle to win this game. So let's see. Uh, a lot of one costs, which is which is not great. 
Mad Vibes also is not a good card against specifically uh, city, city Dev deck. So let's also play uh, Tactician Scooter to draw cards because this is uh, besides Grover, this is not a opening, good opening selection. And let's play Mad Vibes. <coughs> All right. This matchup will be tough for sure, especially with no drawing potential. Mm. But let's try to navigate the best we can with the resources that we have. But, oh, I, that's, that's surprising that just Simon's play, um, play Opal Golem in the, in his Dev City uh, deck. I have uh, different Dev City, you will see later. All right, I can play our tactician with, with uh, Force Field and also Hydrate. He will, just Simon will overdraw one card, which is, which is nice. And let's put barrier on on the Grover. All right, he has five cost festival cannon right now in his hand, which is a very dangerous card in Death City. The most dangerous card, I should say. And yeah, he also has old foggy and everything. This is a very dangerous situation, and ba my Branjo Grover does not have any silencing cards, so it's gonna struggle again against. Uh, Dev City cards. Right, let's see what can we do in this situation. So Dev City doesn't run any one cost, so I can just play Boggy Boggy without the play effect because the City doesn't have it anyway. <coughs> All right, so let, let's uh, let's try to fish out Eldritch Lore for fifty percent chance with Aris Insight. We, are, we got, unfortunately, we got unlucky because we wanted to get Eldritch Lord to get Ward 3 for the next turn, but we got 50% wrong with Cassian, Cassian Chrome. After we we got Grover, the Cassian Chrome is not that powerful. I mean, you can play Sky Phoenix uh, so it, it's not going to be dusted, but... Uh, mm, but it's not that that useful. I'd rather play play War Three really really fast. <clears throat> All right, let me think for a second. I guess I'm just going to utilize uh, my scooter by drawing uh, a card while having two mana left. So let's just play Water Rune on Death's King, Mad Vibes to kill it, and draw one card from, from Scooter. Okay, next turn we're probably going to play Mixolotron with Hydrate and then Frenzy. But I, I expect to lose this game against Dev City, but we'll see, we'll see. This is just a very bad matchup for for Grover. Okay, at least we can eradicate Timber, which is very good. Which is very, very good. And we can play World Tree. Okay, man, mana efficiency. This is what we like, obviously. <clears throat> mm. I don't really care about Tactician and I don't want to give him more health because I, I have to 
kill him quickly, which will be difficult anyway, but at least I have to try. So let's go for this. Right, let's see what he decides to do. Right, he's decided to play deactivate, so that's fine. I guess next after Frenzy we're going to play Casting Chrome for Sky Phoenix. So I, I probably he's going to play something like Volcanic Potion. Wait. Unfortunately, hmm. So we have to stay with our frenzy. So I will utilize actually my zaps on Flame Phoenix, so I can stay. So my uh, frenzy can actually survive volcanic potion. So he will go. He might play, for example, Mass Confuse. So I can play more safely Sky Phoenix from Cassin Chrome. That's the idea. All right, let's see if he's going to play. Actually, he's he's probably just going to play Festival of Cannon because he can remove him, remove my frenzies with this. Yep. Okay. All right, time for for my Sky Phoenix. Okay, I guess it. I would rather have it uh, obviously with lead, but I guess it doesn't matter because he already used his uh, deactivate on my my tree, my elder wood. So for now, he can my my Phoenix can reborn once. Okay, so he went for for Pharonis and not attacking my Sky Phoenix, which is fine. <clears throat> so I can get also, but I don't want to over overextend. I could draw my big friend and play him, but he has mass confuse in his hand. Also, but I can I can draw, I can draw those touch the sky or, uh, or the the second ten cost spell. Let's actually never mind because I have still to I drew a unit instead of think twice, which is actually unfortunate. Right. Welcome, Real Pookie Duke. He asks, I don't understand where is Banjo cosplay. Next cosplay is going to be next week. For it's for beginners guide content. Saito says, Yeah, we should have probably just draw mind rune. Uh what do you mean? But uh, the Mixolotron draws the highest cost, so... Mm. Alright. So he's using 
Oh, he played it this way. I see. Oh, because he had Molten Heart and he can kill my Phoenix twice. Which is not good. Alright. I cannot draw... Actually, I can draw my last card, but I cannot play the combo Desire plus Memorial, Memorial Mimic. Also, I don't want to because of the mask. <laughs> hmm. Let's see, let's see. Actually, I can with this, but is this the good time? I don't think so. I guess I'm gonna try to... Hmm. Maybe bait him to play Mass Confuse, so I can play my combo next turn. But he knows what's up, just Simon is a good player. Ooh, Prismata, but a bit too late though. Yeah, as I said, uh, Cytus, uh, that this is a very match bad matchup for for Banjo Grover. So this is uh, to be expected. And I don't mind. We are showcasing uh, two decks today. So this Banjo Grover and and um, and City uh, City Death. All right, let's play another. Let's play another. And as Hollow uh, points out correctly, uh, the Sky Channel draws uh, spells from different uh, different uh, elements. And I had in my deck um, Think Twice and Mind Rune, which are of the same element. So I would draw something also out of deck. So it would be Touch the Sky or Iron Mask. So uh, good pointing out, Hollow, in the chat. All right, let's play. So let's hope we won't uh, face a City Grave this time. <clears throat> For some reason, it's not joining the queue. Let me see. My wallet did not open, so I'm not sure why. Okay, now it works. Connection maybe. Uh, got broken for a second there. Duplicate connection, hmm. Let me try joining the queue again. That's, that's quite strange actually, I don't recognize this error. Uh, let me actually quickly uh, restart uh, restart the client. One second, guys. One second. All right. Let's try again. Hopefully now it will work cor correctly. All right. It was way faster now, finding an opponent. Let's hope everything works right this time. So if, uh, if you don't know, guys, how Conquest mode exactly works, so we have a new economic economy system with uh, chests. 
but I found an opponent, so I'm going to describe how it works uh, after this game. All right, guys. So let's switch to my uh, waiting area for conquest, and it's going it's going to be first round. First round waiting area for conquest. There you go. And let's accept the match, and let's go to our gaming scene. Welcome, Mr. Fa, in the Twitch chat. How are you, sir? All right, let's see who are we going to face this game. All right, it's against Titus, but so it's two type type of Tituses uh, right now in conquest. So it's uh, Ether Whale Titus that wants to play big guys from Ether Whale spell as fast as possible. Also, there's a second type with uh, more of a control Titus that has a lot of dusting uh, and want to basically exhaust you. So let's see which one th that is going to be. All right. So let's play Grover. Boggy Boggy if it's not Ether Whale uh, uh, Titus. Also, I guess I can keep casting Chrome because I don't want to keep the late game units and Frenzy. Alright, I guess I don't want to double coin. I want to be still um, flexible. Let's just play Lapin Macron here. And keep our mana crystals for now. Alright, he play Hydrate. Perhaps it is Ether Whale, let's see. Still, ca still can be both, actually. Still can be both. Alright. Let me play Mana Crystal from my hand to, to stop overdrawing cards. Alright. Still, my Grave is lacking Dark Card, Metal and Mind. Mind card because he played Hydrate and I drew some of the one cost, so let's get rid of them right now. But if it is Ether Whale Banjo, uh, Ether Whale uh, Titus, he has a lot of um, mass removals. But let's see. Okay, I'm not sure if I want to play uh, at War Tree right now, as it's not going to be as massive. Mm, but where is what is my um, what else can I do? That might be good. Let me think about this for a second. So I can bring Desire, which is obviously not the way to go. I could get Think Twice with Eldritch Lore. Also not great. So what removals he can have? Hmm. I'm wondering about playing playing this card right now. And I guess I will pull the trigger. And also let's put the mind rune on my tree. I hope I can draw Eldritch Lore, so I can play Think Twice uh, and get double Mad Vice, it's good versus Ether Whale, but I didn't. But that's okay. Okay, we can try to get Mixolotron from Aris Insight. Alright, let's do that. And I'm still unsure if I should uh, play fast and play big friend or not. Or should I just play think twice and... and, uh, and turn. Not sure. I think he m it might be controlled. I'm still not sure. I'm still on the fence. Should I play big friend or not? I guess I'm playing big friend and then if it dies, I'm just going to play Mixolotron. Let's 
Let's see what Mr. Jisuk will do. 12 health more. Mortal Blow? That's kinda slow. And cast Wrath? Okay. I'm absolutely okay with this. So we are definitely going after after the hero. Let's see. Hmm. I'm probably am going to play Mixolotron, but I have to play also another card. I don't mind if I overdraw those cards. They are less important than those two. Um, so, alright. Let's build this. I think I'm gonna... Hmm. He played some removals. I can play this or this. Both are good. This is very good defensive against big guys. This is also good if I have a board to play force field, but force field is force field not, not that good because I don't have that big of a units. So I guess I'm gonna gonna play tactician and keep water run for now. All right, ten health to go. Let's see. Press Dark Grave to send a message from Absurd or Not in Twitch chat. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I guess big guys are coming from Ether Whale because he played a unit and not some sort of a removal, like Burning Nate or, or something of that kind. So I can, for example, play combo with uh, Water Rune and Zaps from Frenzy. I'm not explaining as as in detail as yesterday and day before, because this is advanced mode, not the beginner's mode. So I'm catering to the to the most advanced people this time. I hope you guys understand. Okay, let me think about this for a second. I guess we're taking... Hmm. I'm not sure here, because I have to kill it before I can play Frenzy. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, I am not sure here what to... What's the correct play is? Absolutely not, not sure. Let me see if the Twitch chat has some idea what was the optimal turn. As you can see, this is very complex, uh, complex game. A lot of this, a lot of ways to go. I'm trying to go for a kill, but he might play Libra, and he does. I guess he's going for full bloom this time, yep. But next turn, I can I can play Hydrate and next turn play the combo Desire plus uh, plus Memorial Mimic, which is nice, obviously. We 
Okay, so I guess let's do just that. Okay, Comet out of deck. Not bad, not bad, I like it. So let me see, how much damage do I have on board? 8, 10, 12, 13. And he has 16 health on the board from the units. So I guess I will heal one unit. I mean two units and leave the 7-7 seven, seven on the board. The question is, do I want to play Eldritch Lore now to not overdraw? I think I do. To not overdraw, so I can play my combo next turn with uh, with Desire and Mem Memorial Mimic. Mercurial Mimic. <clears throat> If any beginners uh, watching from yesterday or day before, as you can see, this is way, way more difficult to navigate than our our earlier games. All right, we didn't overdraw, so we have have our deck empty, so we can play Desire and Mercurial Mimic. Let's see if he can answer this. Cytus says in the Twitch chat that he would full bloom on, on his hero, but I believe full bloom can only uh, play on units. Actually, no, add a shield to target ally. ally. Alright, Mr. Puzzle Maker himself knows what he's talking about. I actually didn't know that you can play uh, you can play a shield on your hero. Well, well done Cytus with the knowledge of the game. There you go. You actually can. And tomorrow we're going to solve some puzzles exactly from uh, from Mr. Saito's uh, site. I'm not sure wh why Mr. Jisuke is emoting. What happened here? Not sure, not sure. Does he have mortal blow for this desire in his sand or not? Okay, he doesn't because it costs for for mana. Okay, so I guess we somehow can do this, right? And we can. All right, the GG, Mr. Jisuk. Uh, all right. So we that's good that we played the the spell from our hand when you has when we have nine cards in our hand. To not overdraw and play the combination of desire, it won us the game, which is very nice. And we proceed to the second round. Let's go. Welcome, Mr. Konstantin, in the Twitch chat. Nice to have you here. Let's put on some background music. All right. So if if you guys if you guys don't know how um, how the economy works, ooh, look at this. It, they really don't want me to explain this. But let's go for the second waiting area, for the second round of of Conquest. There you go. As you can see, it changed because we are in the second round right now. Alright, let's accept the match and go to the gaming scene. Okay, and let's switch the music from the background to in-game Client, let's first wait for the game to load. All right, let's switch. We're playing against Fox, and we're playing against uh, a player who's who's very good at the game. Obviously, it's conquest mode, but he's playing a lot of super fast, uh, super fast uh, foxes with a lot of burn damage to the face from the hand, and we don't, in fact, have. How to get Grover, which is very dangerous. Very dangerous. 
So I guess we're trying to draw something to fish it out. Boggy Boggy might be useful here to to snatch some of my opponent's uh, low cost units because he he plays a lot of them. And I'm sure I'm not going to be able to play uh, Desire at the end of the at the end of the my deck, so I can took it take it faster. Um, and yeah. Not having Grover at the beginning against such a fast deck as my opponent's Fox, uh, it's going to be tough. Trust me on that. Okay, we did get Think Twice, but it's still going to take some time until I, I get my Grover. So it's it's really dangerous. Let's see. Okay, so the most frightening card is the, on the board, the Buster Squire, the devil himself, when you cannot kill that unit, it can spiral up very quickly. So, the question is, can I somehow deal with that unit, but I don't see how I could do that, to be honest. Hmm. Hmm. I'm in trouble, that's for sure. Alright. Alright. I guess I'm gonna overdraw Giza, and but do I care if I play this? Hmm. Hmm. It took me way too long to to get my to get the Grover, and he played Buster Squire. I don't see. I don't see a bright future for myself in this game, unfortunately. All right. Let's play whip vine to slow him down a little bit. Saito says in Twitch chat this looks very dangerous. Oh, yes sir. It is very dangerous. And Mr. Denna has a lot of and snares and cards like that or cards that can just disregard the the, the guard. Mm. It doesn't look hot, that's for sure. Yep, and snare played. Now the question is... Now what? Maybe I can... I can for example snatch this one cost and... Actually or... Hmm. I could play uh, force field to get this guy out of roots and suicide him to slow my opponent down. And boggy boggy maybe this unit. Very tough position. If I play bunch of one cost also I will unlock big friend quicker, but big friend, is, big friend is also not that great in this situation. But, alright. Let me do that. Let me slow down a bit my opponent. And? And? Let's play a guarded unit. But I don't think that I will survive this game. Yeah, he has another fire rune. <clears throat> As I said, if if Glo Grover is not found very quickly, 
You're going to struggle a lot. A lot. And we are doing just that. Struggling. And this deck doesn't have any AoEs because it with with the Grover it can populate the board very quickly with big guys. But we didn't get so, it get it soon enough. And I can play something like Ward 3, but it's probably it will not make any difference. So alright. Let's say good game to Dana. And let's just concede. Right? So this time we reach to the second round with our Grover. Let's Yeah, let's play one more and then let's switch to City Grave. Uh Site was proposing some lines, but it's still it's it's hopeless. Uh this deck that Dana was playing has so much, uh, so much re burn damage from hand that it really doesn't make a difference. All right, let's showcase one more time um, Grover deck, and let's proceed then to to City. Hollow jokingly says that City Grave sounds great when Rain is playing with uh, with Fox, but it's just showcasing uh, meta deck met meta decks, not really just trying to counter what people are playing in this second, but just showcasing how to play with certain decks. <laughs> Constantine says just dodge Rain, as Dena was in fact the Rain, a very known player in Conquest Streets. All right. Hmm. Now I have a chance to explain a bit how the chest economy works. As you know, or maybe you don't, we have three kind of cards, so base cards, and also silver cards and gold cards, which are cosmetics. If you have a silver card in your deck, it grants you plus one point toward chest with, uh, for every game. If you have gold card, you can get three points. And with Legacy Hero Skin, you get plus 25% points from all of it. So, with my Banjo Grover, I have a bunch of gold cards and uh, and silver cards. So, for each game, I'm gaining 95 points per match towards the, the chests. And in chests, bigger your chest, bigger your reward at the end of the week. Just a fun way to progress in the game. Alright, we found an opponent. Let's go for a second to the first waiting area for conquest i hope i will be able to also sh showcase the fir third third round all right let's accept the match and let's go to the game all right let's hope we will find the grover quicker now against mr typo with his zoe another aggro deck and we did found the grover quickly which is nice Let's switch the music. I'm skeptical about Glissbot because my opponent's playing uh, Zoo, uh, Zoe with a lot of swarming, swarming um, units. So Glissbot is very good when you control the board and I might not be the one that controls the board. So I'm not sure about this one, but let's see. So tactician to remove the roots, but my Grover might be dead by then. So I'm not sure about this. Welcome Rizam in the Twitch chat. Hello, sir. Hmm. This one or this one? Let's go for Glissbot, you know. Okay, fine. Tactician, I'm changing my mind. I'm changing my mind. Let's go. Let's see what Mr. Typo will play. I'm not sure if it's super swarmy deck or if it's uh, more on the grave side with cannon and stuff like that, but we'll see. Okay, he started not super fast. Let's play our Grover right now. <laughs> Thank you, Rizam, in the chat. Nice Puzza statue. <laughs> 
I think so too. I think so too. Okay, let's see. Okay, we can now clear the board. And let's not wait around but play tactician. Okay, now we can actually clear the board again with the help of water rune. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, let's do something like this. Okay, we can see that our opponent's hand is not super explosive, which is good news for us, of course. Ooh, and now War Tree. Very nice. And we will be able actually to play big friend because I'm going to suicide my uh, my matchstick. And now we're trying to quickly dominate the game. Let's see if our opponent can deal with our big boards on the turn five. Look at the amount of stats so quickly. And snare, all right. And perfect card next with replenishing our our card amount. Very nice. Definitely looking looking good for us. So next turn, Mixolotron, and then Frenzy, and it's so so difficult. It's going to be so difficult for our opponents to defend all of this. All right. <clears throat> Let's see if he can deal with all of this. All right, so he's playing He's playing the wildland biker to get dash for all of the all of the units, but I can deal a lot of damage right now. So I have 13 damage on the board currently. So I guess I'm just going to unroot myself and draw some more cards because I will over overdraw him. I will not him not help him at all by playing hydrate, so that's the best use of hydrate when you're not helping your opponent. Okay, I will help him by drawing him one card, but that's fine, obviously. Okay, let's do that. All right. 10 health to go, let's see. And so many weapons in our arsenal, Sky Phoenix, Frenzy. Now we can play safely Glissbot. Saito says that they're playing Dash Cannon probably. Yeah, but they will still not, not kill. Elderwood or they will. Alright. Alright, he was able to clear the board, but that's fine. We don't mind. We have a lot more weapons to to use. All right, five more damage. Can he deal with those sharks? Mr. Typo 14. Frequent conquest player. All right, he can deal with one. He can deal with both. 
Alright. But, but the game is over. Thanks to our Mercurial Mimic, we can copy this and just do lethal this way. Good game, Mr. Typo 14. Alright, again, second, ga second game of Conquest. Let's see if we can reach the third one this time. Right, let's switch back to our background music. So, let me... So where are we at? Where we were at? Yeah, I just was saying that I'm earning 95 points with this deck to get uh, to the to the higher chest. And as I said, the level 10 chest is the highest possible. And then you can win some nice juicy rewards. So if you want, you can buy some cosmetics and try out to, to earn uh, some points for bigger chests, but you can play with base cards. You don't have to uh, participate in the ch chest hunting. You can just play conquest with without really caring about chests. It doesn't really, it, it doesn't make a difference if you do or not. Your choice. You can always fight for, for those golds, gold cards. All right. Let me switch quickly to the second waiting area for conquest for the second round. Look at this. Beauty. All right, and back to the gaming scene. Okay, against Titus this time. I actually recognize this my opponent uh, deck because uh, he was able to beat my City Grey with his deck. It's actually control Titus with uh, with cards like Touch the Sky, Comet, with Cast Wrath and stuff like that. So let's see if he can uh, defeat my kind of quick quick deck. Let's see. Mm, do I want a desire? But if I'm not picking desire, what am I picking? I guess I can pick a uh, tactician to remove uh, roots because his his deck is not going to uh, to have um, super small units that can quickly clear Grover. So tactician might might help. And I will just because if I don't play tactician, I can overdraw because I have two light. Uh, light one cost units, so one will always stay in, in the deck, so this way I can just utilize Tactician early. Constantine says in the chat that he's playing Aetherwale today. Oh! Thank you, thank you for letting me know. That's actually extremely useful information. Alright, let's see if you're right, Mr. Constantine. He actually was able to kill my Grover, so my Tactician Looks silly right now. Look at him. Look at this poor guy. All right. I guess we can now. Uh, I don't want to overdraw. Maybe he might also play hydrate. Let's maybe bring Giza or hmm. But actually, against this particular guy, playing Sky Phoenix from Cassian Chrome might uh, must be might be useful. But I hmm. But I don't really want to play a, an empty turn. But I guess if I draw, uh, Gleesbot is. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still going to play play casting from. Let's go. Okay, Gleesbot on the board. Patrick in the Twitch chat says thanks for the lesson recently. I finally understood how to play this game. <laughs> Come on, Patrick. Patrick in Twitch chat, very very experienced player. Joking around. All right, let's see. I hope we can draw with Sky Channel, Eldritch Lore or World Tree on 4 mana so we can impose some problems for my opponent. And we do. Eldritch Lore in our hand. Let's fish out World Tree. Let's hope he doesn't play uh, cards to remove my, my two costs or, or, or lower cards to my deck. Very powerful, powerful spell. Welcome Katsura also in the Twitch chat, welcome. Okay, he went for hi Hyper Beam and he does have Whelm. This is exactly the spell that I was talking about. Unfortunate. So this is not Ether Whale, I believe. This is this is this control that I was talking about earlier with Touch the Sky and stuff like that. 
if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> All right. So he is dealing with with my threats very easily so far. So I guess now he's going to play uh, or not. I was I, I thought that he's going to play Giga Bloom because probably he will he draw this from Gift of Fire, but he decided to eradicate my Giza, but that's okay. I guess I'm not going to play Mixolotron just yet because I will overdraw. It's not going to be that that useful. So let's just play Boggy Boggy and play Barrier on my my big friend. Hmm. Okay. Now w when I see what he has in his hand, now it's actually might be Ether Whale exactly. So I'm super confused. I'm super confused, actually. So now I I don't like that I put uh, barrier and not shield on my on my big guy. That's actually quite annoying. But that's fine. He's not going to gain armor, which is which is which is cool. So let's see. <laughs> Ether whale with whelm. Constantine says in chat, yes. I don't want to copy any of it, I think, but... Or maybe do I want to copy this? I think I'm gonna keep those for the for the combo when I get my deck empty. So let's just... Let's just clear the board, shall we? Hmm... Maybe actually with Mixolotron? Yeah, because I won't have a good play after I play Mad Vibes. And Mad Vibes will will be useful also later. So let's do this. Let's take six here. Let's do that. And this. And this. Alright. Alright, so... In two turns, I mean, not next turn, but later, we're going to play our combo nine, man, nine mana exactly. The Desire or with Mercurial Mimic. Hopefully he will not have answer for that. Let's hope. So next turn we're going to play Sky Phoenix or Frenzy and then this combo. I really hope we can reach third round of conquest so I can showcase my third round third round waiting area for conquest. Okay, I guess that's it. Three mana, can he do anything else with it? Nope. So I guess I'm going to play what? Should I play this or this? I guess Frenzy will be better. Yeah, I think so. I think Frenzy will be better. And do I want to play Aries inside that gets something for 7 mana? I could get stuff like uh, Extinction Event. Hopefully. Hopefully it's not going to be Zam. So yeah, let's play Aries inside and then Frenzy. It's Libra. Okay. Okay, I dig that. I dig that. Okay, let's play Frenzy now. And I actually want them, those Frenzies, to, sur to, to be able to su survive Volcanic Blast. So I'm going to kill, kill this guy with my Zaps. Alright. Okay, now we have full information about his hand. So only AoE is, is Volcanic Blast, so I guess he's going to play Ether Whale perhaps? Or maybe Amaruth? I'm not sure. Let's see. Tactician did good. Showcasing all of his hands. 
Very nice. Good job, little tactician. Good job. Let me pet you a bit. Good job, buddy. Look at him. So cute. Good job, buddy. Alright, now what, Mr. Gatsby 9? Etherwale on the board. He had two more health than me, so the Libra effect did not fire. So I don't see good enough cards to deal with my my sweet sweet combo. So let's not think about anything else. Let's just fire it up. Let's try be deadly. Okay now, do I want to go face or do I want to kill one of the units? Because if he can somehow deal with those guys, he can deliver lethal with the stats that he has on board, exactly 19. So the question is, actually he can when I when I hit, but okay, when I hit him I will uh, heal one, but I will overdraw one after this, so he has lethal on the board when those guys are, are gone, but from these cards he cannot do much. And also, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, we are going face. Okay, hopefully those two cards cannot deal with my desires. Those two. Let's see. Draco Impact, okay, what else? But Draco Impact alone is not good enough. Cytus says, Sander Mortal Blow waiting room. Yeah, that would be nasty, that's true. Okay, luckily he cannot deal with this unit with one, with my big desire with only one unit. So that's good. So he can deal with both, but those guys will st stay alive. Alright, so we have 10 damage on the board, but plus Sky Phoenix, that's enough. Alright, so good game, Mr. Gatsby 9. That was actually a cool game, very close. Alright, and we actually progress to the third round of Conquest. Very cool, very cool, we'll get our points. And let's go. So let's see if we can win that gold card. Conquest is all about that gold cards. Let's see. All right, let me put some background music. So this is going to be last uh, last game with this deck. After this game, we're going to uh, showcase the City Grave deck, which is much more complicated than, than this deck. Complicated in terms of how many combinations of plays you can do. Uh, so many decisions, but with this, with this, not that many. But still, game is game can be complex. So, so just the nature of of Skyweaver as a whole that this game is just super complex. So many, uh, so many different uh, routes that you can take. Oh, and look at this! We actually found game three fairly quickly. So let's switch my third round, uh, third conquest waiting room. That's it, we reach it. Let's see if we can win that nice gold card. So let's accept the match and go to the gaming scene. All right, let's see who are we playing against. It's against Shengu and he's playing with... Oh, interesting. We have stuff uh, so interesting to see. Uh, um, why, why am I blanking uh, on the on the name of the hero? What am I doing? Uh, so we have casting Chrome. We can play Grover quickly, which is very good. 
which is it is of course Iris. I, I my brain sometimes doing doing this this kind of stuff. I obviously know all all of this, all of the names of prisms, but sometimes I'm just live when I'm streaming live. I'm just going blank and wait, wait, what was the name? But it's it's just the nature of live streaming, I suppose, or maybe just my brain. All right, so Grover, Eldritch Lore for quick world tree. What else? Maybe I, I can eradicate something like a chest, the free cost chest, and what else, what else, maybe Glissbot. Let's go for this. Eradicate is very good weapon against Chester. Yes, Katsura, free cost chest, I mean Chester. Ah, okay, never mind, never mind. <laughs> As always, yeah, people, of course, reminds me. I, I messed it up with, with uh, Iris, with uh, Zoe, of course. <laughs> yes, yes, thank you guys for reminding me. Of course, there, there is no hard prism here. And look at this. Shango decided, wait, my music is overlapping, so let's remove the background music right now. Let's use the in-game music. So he decided to sidestep my Grover, because if I would play Grover right now, this ability would uh, dust all of my one cost, so that would be terrible, but because I have Eradicate, I hope Shengu will uh, will forgive me that little throw or that I didn't play this uh, at once, but I wanted to um, explain my thinking. So let's play safely Grover now. And let's try to be aggressive. So Grover, then World Tree, and then Glissbot. And let's go for it. Let's go for it! Okay, so let's play... Um, Mana Crystal? Now, do I want to use Aris Inside now? Or do I want to use it on one mana to get something out of the deck. I guess not. I can maybe get World Tree right now and save Eldritch Lord for later. Okay, I didn't, but that's fine. I'm probably going to use Desire earlier than expected. But that's fine, because this Shengu Dex is faster, so I might use it also faster. Chess? Uh, I mean Orchid. Alright, let's see. Alright, so we really need to pump the pump the speed pedal. Pedal to the metal, as they say. Um alright. Let's let's go for it. Let's try to win this game quickly. Let's try to overwhelm Mr. Shango with my quick board development. If he's not going to touch my tree right now, I'm just going to copy it with Mer Mer Mercurial Mimic and hope that he doesn't play Whelm. But he shouldn't play Whelm in this kind of deck, right? Hopefully. Let's see. He went for... Whoa, that was very brave. But I, I'm not sure if I... If I agree, yeah. And he just decided to quickly... Quickly concede, so we are actually were able to win a gold card here on the stream for the YouTube video also with the Grover deck. So task successful. Now let's see what gold card we won and what silver card. Let's see. Okay, the silver is Lao Sensei and the gold card is Chromosaur. Very nice, very nice golden Chromosaur for the big Titus decks, big guys decks, all right. Now let's go to play with our second deck of the of this uh, second deck of the meta decks that we are showcasing today, the City Grave deck. The deck that I really enjoy playing because I mean Every game is diff a little bit different, especially if you play against different uh, different prisms. Very fun to play. Let's go. City Grave. Lock in and play. 
Okay, we're nicely progressing toward that level 6 chest. Very nice, very nice. So guys, remember tomorrow, same time, 3 p.m. Central European time, we're going to be playing uh, some puzzles from none other than Cytus, the puzzle maker. We're going to use his site to learn some 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 stuff. So there are puzzles on I believe five levels, from the beginner one level to super advanced and the five level. I'm not sure how many we will be able to to solve on the stream tomorrow, but we have next week also and next week. Let's see. Hopefully status will will join the, the stream and help me if I if I'm stuck and trying to solve a puzzle for 30 minutes and fail. Maybe Cytus will give me some some tips to figure it out. We'll see. All right. Let me switch to my waiting area for a second. But wait, guys, I totally forgot. What am I doing? I absolutely forgot to use my tips from the mountain. What about the edge of the sky? What about my climbs to the mountain? Guys, let's go there right right now. Silly me. Let's go there right now. Let me switch the music to more soothing one that fits to my favorite Skyweaver Air soundtrack. And let's climb the mountain together. Mm. Never gets old. Never gets old, guys. Welcome to the edge of the sky. Today, we are trying to beat the most difficult game mode in the game, Conquest Mode. So, the tip is actually to, to maybe hold off some of you before you even try Conquest Mode. So, the first tip is, as you can see, first reach Master or even Grand Weaver rank before you start playing Conquest. I mean, if there are some people that actually love to play only on the highest difficult mode, if you're such a person and you don't feel discouraged even if you lose a lot, sure, jump in. But if you're not such a person, if you feel bad when you lose a lot, just learn everything there is to know about the game and then try Conquest. Because I'm telling you, this game mode is extremely hard. So that's it. That's the first tip. Let's play some Conquest games. Let's go. Then I almost forgot to get to, to do the climb with you guys. But that's it. All right. That's now you guys know to learn everything there is to know about the game and then play some Conquest. As you saw, the opponents are tough. The games are very hard to win. So, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, hopefully you can quickly find the game one, the round one opponent. Yes, Constantin in chat. Climb, Pog. I hope you guys enjoy those little bits at the edge of the sky that I made for you. And also this waiting room. This waiting room for conquest. We're waiting patiently for that game one opponent together. Rizam is asking where is Ada her? Today we are serious. Today it's advanced stuff, so no her today. Alright, we found the match. Let's go to the gaming scene. Mephisto jokingly said that I'm cosplaying Lotus now. Come on, Mephisto. Come on. I'm still young. I'm still perky in the right places. Come on. Come on. All right. We're playing against Lord of the Sky. Let me switch the music. Against Titus. A lot of Tituses today. It might be... Actually, I'm not sure if it's Control or if it's Ether Whale. I'm not sure. But now... Actually, I forgot to showcase the deck. What is it all about? But the best way to play this deck is to uh, to ramp with your mana with Old Foggy and play it multiple times from your deck. So basically, this deck relies on Grave a lot. So what this deck hates is dusting. 
When you get your old foggy dusted and, and rest of the cards, you actually cannot win games. So it's all about the grave manipulations. All right, so let's see. So let's play Mass Confuse because it is probably Ether Whale and maybe those, those four. All right. Flame Phoenix is not that powerful against big guys. So I'm not picking Flame Phoenix for now. He plays Take Root, but still, it does. It, I'm not sure. Still, I am not sure if that because if that means that it's control and not Ether Whale. Because my previous opponent play at play Take Root with Ether Whale, so it might be it might be Ether Whale, but also. Uh, Ether Lemur might be playing control. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Still not sure. But I'm not gonna wait around and not play anything. I'm ramping, guys. I am ramping. I'm not gonna wait around. Right? And do I want Smite? Aris Inside Now will give me smi s smite, uh, smite spell. But I... I'd rather save it for to draw something like 4 cost or 5 cost. Those are good cards to draw. So I'm gonna keep this for now. Yes, Rezam, in the Twitch chat. Exactly, this is for you. This is for you. And he decided to not kill my, my old Foggy, but I don't mind. I don't mind. But now do I want to ramp? I guess I'd rather play Aris Insight on 6 to draw a 5 cost, so one of these, than Festival of Cannon. So I guess I'm not gonna kill off my own old Foggy. If you don't want to kill it, fine. Unfortunately he... Unfortunately he played... He drew units that do not die to Mass Confuse. Which is actually quite uh, quite annoying, but I'm gonna weaken them with Mass Confused and play Aris inside first to get my Festival of Cannon. So first weaken them, and then finish them off with with Festival of Cannon. Or I could just kill him now like this. Yeah, let's just do that. We can use this guy on on something else. Ooh, plus 10, plus 10. Holy, holy smokes. That's strong. If I have one mana more, I could play this and this, but I don't. But I don't. So I'm gonna play this combo maybe next turn and now just play dual boot. Hopefully I will get something good. And this is good. This will give me some time to recover. Was that not plus 2 plus 2? Plus 11 plus 11? Oh yeah, it's plus 7 plus 10. Alright, my bad, my bad. So I guess he drew Amaruf then. All right. So now, do I want to play this and this? So I want to kill this, but I'm not going to kill this. So, ah, uh, so yeah, I'm just going to play Mr. Faronis. Okay, okay. Let's see. Let's see. One more card, Timber in the deck. So if those three dies. Oof! Oof! Okay. I need something good like Extinction Event, guys. Help me out. Help me out! Help me out of this situation! This is dangerous! Danger level. Danger level. Hmm. Hmm. This is not ideal, guys. This is not ideal. What do you propose I will do? Hmm. 
I guess I can clear everything besides Titanic. Right? Or wrong? Right? No, actually I cannot count. I will not clear this. Hmm. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. I don't like this one bit. I have no idea what to do. I I cannot count this. This is yeah, this will also stay alive. So I guess I shouldn't hit uh, the Libra. I yeah, I didn't have enough time. I just I probably the best play was that but not hitting Libra with my face because I couldn't kill this guy anyway. So So yeah. This is not ideal, guys. Not at all. Now I wish I didn't play Mass Confuse so quickly. But he he had double ether whale very soon. Very quickly. Um yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not a good situation for sure. So I can play this and this. I will spend 8 mana, but then I cannot do anything that's useful. Burr, 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 burr. And from when I play Grave Royal, this will lose 4 health, not 5. So that's not helpful also. That's not helpful also! Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Let's do this. I think that's the that was the best play. We call it upper right corner, buddy. Upper right corner. GG, Lord of the Sky. I might have misplayed a bit in this game. But he overwhelmed me as I overwhelmed some opponents with with my Creek Grover previous game. He overwhelmed me with his big guys uh, with double ether whale very quickly. And that's it. I have to admit my my loss. But that's how what that, that's what happens. That's why conquest is a very hard mode. A one little misstep, two missteps and you're gone. Maybe it's even zero missteps and you're finished because Cards aligned well for for the for the opponents. That's how it is. That's how it is. All right. It's time for a second trip to to the edge of the sky. Let's again climb. I know we we just came down from the mountain and we again have to climb up, but. I was lazy at the first part of the of the stream of the video. I didn't want to climb, so now we have to do it more frequently. So let's climb for the second tip of the day. Did you know that we actually have replays of our games? All of it. All of it. So it's super useful when you want to be better at the game. So just find out who is the best player or best players or who is always beating you for some reason. Just jump into those replays, switch side because you can watch what your opponent actually does every turn. That's super amazing. So find out who's the best, watch their games from their perspective and try to figure out what they are doing differently than you. It's, it's super useful. It might be difficult at first to, to jump into someone's head and try to figure out why, why did they play this? Why? I don't understand. Try to figure it out. It's, it's important. That's how you... That's how you're going to become better. And that's it. That's the tip. Review games against best players. Pretty simple, right? That's the second tip. Let's play some more games. All right, guys. So if you don't know where the functionality is, I'm going to show you right now. You can just go to your account, go to matches, and you can just watch your replay. For example, here, you can check out what your opponent was doing, what he has in his hand from both perspectives. Let's showcase it for a quick for a quick while. Let's see. So 
That was my hand, but we can switch sides with this button. I can stop. You can see what he drew. Yeah, so he had already et Ether Lemur and Ether Whale. So double Ether Whale basically in his hand. Let's see what he picked. Maybe Lotus Reflection to play yeah, Ether Whale quickly. Very nice starting hand. It might be even like the best starting hand that he can have in Ether, in, in Ether Whale Titus deck. Very nice. So yeah, you can just see what he played. You can speed up here. You can just play turn by turn. Very nice software. Look at this. All of this in the in-game client. Super nice, nice functionality added by the devs. You can copy link to the situation, to this this play. Amazing, amazing stuff from the Skyweaver devs. All right, let's exit the uh, the replay and let's play some more City Grave games. All right. I hope this time we'll do better. Actually, I think mm, my deck City Grave is good against. Uh, Ether Whale decks against uh, Big Titus, but I misplayed it a little bit with maybe too hasty Mass Confuse, and I lost. That's how it is. That's how it is. All right. Yeah, I did have cards that could deal with this whole board, like Extinction Event, like Subjugate, but I didn't have it. So I lost. There you go. Okay, let me move to my waiting area. I am proud of this waiting area. It's very nicely done in my opinion. Let's chill here for a bit for my opponent. Alright, we we're waiting quite a bit. Oh, but we did find an opponent. Exact perfect timing. Exactly the perfect timing. Let's go. So now let's see who's going to be our first run opponent for the second game of City Grave deck. And it is going to be drum roll, please. Game please load quicker. Because I can't hold my voice any longer the next opponent is... It's Dutep! A friend to the stream. He's playing Zoe deck. Alright. Alrighty. So now, let's... Let's play Old Foggy from Cousin Chrome, so he cannot dust it. And let's play it actually in the first turn, so I can play uh, Molten Heart on it. And then... Let me uh, switch the music, and then maybe chill, maybe Glacial Tomb, maybe Encapsulate. Hmm. Should I risk it and play it Old Foggy and play Cassian Chromes or something on 4 mana? Because I'm, I'm worrying that I won't be drawing any, any uh, units anytime soon. So I think I'm gonna do that. But if he's going to play Lightning Vial, I'm going to be very upset. Very upset. So please, no Lightning Vial. Uh, not mute. I'm just wanting to say hello. I'm not sure though if this Zoe plays Lightning Vial at all. 
So I took some risk, but I hope everything will go well. He's using a mana crystal, so maybe he's not using. Maybe he's not using. All right, we're safe. Mr. Fast says in the Twitch chat that it does run lightning vial, so we're really fortunate that he was not able to to get it. So we are now quite comfy with our old foggy in the in the grave. Cassian Rome can draw me Earth Golem or Timber right now. We're feeling we're feeling good right now. Very nice. All right, we're actually going to draw Earth Golem with. So Earth Golem normally goes with roots attached, but now because of the cousin from the roots are gone. Very cool. Uh, very cool. And I'm not going to lose more health. I'm just going to not hit Chester. I can play also chill next turn. I can play timber. I can kill it maybe with Earth Golem if it stays alive. Yeah. We are doing very well this game. It might even be decided already. Actually. But we'll see, we'll see. So next turn we can play Timber, then we can play Chill, and then we can play Pharonis. We're not worried. We're not worried. Let's showcase the power of City Grave deck. Okay, I guess I'm. G he's going to kill this unit, or no? He's going for for face. All right. So, do I want to play Illusion on my Earth Golem? I guess uh, th those kind of Zoe's are trying to kill me uh, quickly, yeah. and it does a lot of damage with. With um, with cannon and wall of death and stuff like that, so let's just prevent all of this. Make multiple earth golems, and yeah, now I'm feeling a lot more safe, a lot more safe. So next turn, timber. Next turn, coining and playing pharaonis. It should be smooth sailing from now on. Against our good friend Dutep from Argentina. He's taking his time to figure out what to do. Alright. Ritual. Such a powerful card. The Death King. Very good stats. And attached ritual. R ritual. Very good, very good. But I don't think it's going to be enough to for him to to win the game. I I I know that it's just started, but still. And also, I have casket. Very good stuff. But I'm not going to play casket now because I really want to coin Farnis as as quickly as possible. So just play. Let's just play timber. Do I want to suicide my my Earth Golem? I mean, he's protecting my left flank a bit, and I don't ne really need. Actually, let's let's go for it because he might play. He might have in his deck uh, the Void Knight that uh, prevent me from healing. So let's just take a safe route and let's heal. All right. Feels good. Forty-two health. Against Zoe, 10 more than in the beginning. Very nice. Also, Casket that will help me not go out of cards. Maybe it will proc the Eclipse Death Effect and draw me even more cards. Okay, and Snare. So now he can get the Glory Effect from, De uh, from Death's King. And trigger. So if, for example, Chester was on the board and he attacks my uh, my hero, the Chester will draw two cards without dying. 
Let's see if he can have some. Ooh, look at this! And now he will populate. Wow, very nice, very nice play. All right. So, are we playing uh, Faroinis now, or are we doing something else? I think it's quite simple decision. All right. And do we are we hitting anything? Also, not really. But that was very, very good play and snare with Totem. Very good turn. And now he actually making me nervous a bit. I'm not gonna lie. He's making me nervous a little bit. He also have in his uh, in his deck Gift of Kai that gain. Uh, he gives a banner to every card on the board and shield. Such a powerful card when you have board control with so many units so I'm getting nervous guys I, I'm not I don't have any AOE card any attacking spell let's see yeah he might remove my guy and then uh, with other units and then play Death King. Look at this, how many cards he'll draw. This looks like trouble, guys. He actually turned this game around. Look at Dutep, very nice. Very nice navigating with this deck. Right, but Dreams? He's just in... Oh, but he... Alright, he attacked with this. Maybe because he panicked, he was just on the last seconds. Or maybe there is no, no chance to do... To attack with the king to the hero, alright? Ooh, but look at this card! I can remove all of the fates and prevent all of the draws. Such a strong card, very nice top deck. Thank you, chat. Thank you, Twitch chat, for, for getting me this card. Very nice of you. All right, I feel a lot safer now. Let's go. <laughs> Side is calling me a cheat in Twitch chat. A cheat? Well, you guys drew me that card, or maybe devs decided to to help me out because they may be there watching. I'm fine with that. I need to show viewers that I can win in conquest. So thank you, devs. Thank you for drawing me. Must confuse. I appreciate it a lot. Now, I hope, I really hope, that the Cascade will not be dusted. Because even if I draw Flame Phoenix, I can play Phoenix Plume to actually get Eclipse and draw more cards. So that's very, very useful. Dutep taking his time. Very wise. So please, Mr. Dutep, do not... Do not dust my Cascade. This is the only ask from me. Ooh, look at this. He's getting his his fades back. Very nice. Mm, I didn't get my Eclipse, but I can get it from Phoenix Plum. So let's do that. I guess he might have... Hmm. That's weird that he played Songbeard, to be honest. So I guess I'm going to play Phoenix Plume, then Aris inside to get a, an 8 cost. All of the 8 costs are good in this situation. Actually, maybe Ashendra is not that good, because I will have only two, um, 2 units in my grave after I play Phoenix Plume. Okay. Um, or should I actually play, because I draw Wet Dead. Yeah. Let's thin out the, his his board a bit because I'm afraid he has gift of Kai or something similar. I can play those stuff uh, later, but let me play Aris inside first because those cards are so powerful. Okay, that's fine. Do I maybe want to play Fireball? But I will clear how many units? Only two. So yeah, let's let's rather play Faith, uh, Flame Phoenix. And clear more units. 
The same, I will leave only one unit on the board. Alright. Yeah, feels good. My starting health, 32. At turn 9. I'm fine with that. Let me pour me some more water. I'm talking a lot. Need to hydrate my throat. No hydrate in this deck though. <clears throat> I very I, I like the approach from Dutab that he's taking his time to think what he wants to play. He's not doing anything rash. He's playing Eclipse in his deck also for drawing some resources. Nice. I guess I'm going to encapsulate this. He's not going to let me encapsulate his uh, his uh, festival cannon anyway, so I might as well does this to prevent more resources from him. So probably I will play those three cards. All right. Let's see if it's over or not. Anything else for one mana, Mr. Dutab? Hmm? All right, I guess he's done. So yeah, mm, or maybe, okay, so maybe not those two, but those two. Thank you. Let's clear the board, shall we? Yeah, next turn I can play those and play Clone Army. This is actually nice, nice uh, spell out of deck in uh, Death City. I like it. I do like it. We have comfortable mana lead. He has only 10 mana max. I have 14 next turn. Very cool. Now what? Now what, Mr. Diotep? <laughs> My timber is ni nicely protecting me from from getting cannoned, to being cannoned, because I believe he does play Festival Cannon in his deck. So I don't mind that my Timber just chill here. I can also make a copy of it from my clone army. Let's see. What Dutab will decide to do? Maybe he's going to play... Oh, never mind. I thought that maybe he will play uh, Wall of Dead. But nope. Right? And he was playing Gift of Kai. So it's good that I removed all of those units with playing Mortal, Molten Heart. I mean, Wed Dead on, on my Phoenix, uh, Flame Phoenix. All right. Okay, now I can get dual boot from Enigma Golem and get 100% Festival Cannon. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. I'm going to do that. And clone army it even. Oh, oh, yes, sir. Oh, 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 yes, sir. I'm going to do that. Oof. Oof. Beauty. Beauty. Do I want to play Subjugate? I mean, I'm not in that real danger, but... Mm, I mean, Subjugate is useless on Wall of Dead. Yeah, let's just do it. There's no, no point in taking any risks. Yeah, there's... I, I see no way that I can ever lose this game. In this state. Maybe only if I disconnect. Yeah, this game should be should be already won. Even without using my my killing tool, the Grave Royal. All right. What's up, Dutep? What's up? What will you do now? 
Okay. That's not very... Okay, but you still have to deal with more festival cannons, so... I'm fine with that. So he did play, actually, Lightning Vile in his deck, so... That was... I was very fortunate that he didn't uh, dust my... Uh, my old Foggy at the beginning of the game. Very nice. Alright, now he's only one card. Very, very nice play by him. Very nice play. So let's see. What do I want to do? I can play both even. Yeah, let's just let's just clear this, shall we? I can play this. I can play Festival of Cannon. Actually, I should play Festival of Cannon first, maybe to clear this guy, but it, it doesn't really matter. The game is won. There's, there's, doesn't matter what I do. But I guess we could be precise and play the best, the best turn that we can do every time. All right. But we have so much health. So much health. Mm, yeah, I mean, he has zero cards. Let's just populate the board with powerful units. So now from Casket I'm getting festival buffed festival cannon. That's cool. Yeah, very cool. Hopefully he will not dust my eclipse. Dutep still have fighting spirit in him. He's trying to figure out what's the best possible play in this situation. All right. So now the board is cleared. Oh, very nice. Oh, very nice. And we won! Thank you, Dutep, very much for the game. We showcased, showcased the power of City Grave when none of those death effect, death, death cards are dusted. It can explode really quickly with the amount of mana that you have. Very strong deck. Alright. Let's go. You know what? I'm not sure if you guys tired of climbing, but I'm not. It's time for the third and final tip at the edge of the sky. Welcome back to the edge of the sky. Last tip for today, net decking is okay. For you who don't know what net decking is, it's just borrowing your opponent's deck. He's just taking it for yourself like it's nothing. And it actually is nothing. Because the game itself has functionality to do just that. So don't feel bad about it. You might not feel like deck building today. Or you just want to try something out, right? Nothing wrong with it. Don't worry. So, the three tips of today. Remember, conquest is hard. First, reach master or even gr grand weaver rank before you try out conquest. It's, it's really important. Review game against best players. This is the best way, absolutely best way to improve. Trust me. And the third one. The decking is okay. It's really fine. And now I need to go down this mountain again. When the same thing happens tomorrow. And tomorrow. And tomorrow. And tomorrow, and tomorrow. I guess that's my life now. 
but eh, it's okay. I guess I will get in shape. That's fine. So let's let's play another game. Let's play another game, shall we? All right, we are in the second round of conquest. We secured. Even if we lose, we are secured winning one silver card, and we can pay with the silver card to enter the conquest again. Welcome, Dutep, in the Twitch chat. GG, GG, Mr. Dutep. Good game, good game. So, if you win at least one game in conquest, you can just cycle back and forth over and over. So, if you always, so let's say you always win the first game, you're just lucky enough, you can just always have a, uh, have a ticket or silver card to enter the conquest. So, it's basically free for you if you always win the first, first round. So, that's, 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 that's good, but... That first round is not that easy that you think, so watch out. All right, let's see if we can find out. Ooh, let's go. We found an opponent. Let's click. We go to the second, second conquest waiting room. That's right. That's right. And let's go to the gaming scene. We're playing against Typo again. We matched against him uh, earlier. All right, let's see. Let's switch back the music. <clears throat> All right, let's see. All right, we have our old foggy. So let's uh, play Aris inside our, as our first turn to get casting Chrome. Old foggy, what's next? What's next? Mm. I guess we are not going to be fast enough to make a copy of our card because he's going to clear the board rather quickly. <clears throat> so maybe rise from scrap. And do I want cannon? Do I want mass confuse? I'm not sure. Maybe scrap and illusion on six mana. I'm not sure, but let's just take festival of cannon and we'll see. All right, casket in hand. Not bad, not bad. Let's go for Aris inside. Okay, so next turn we're playing Old Foggy, then probably Casket, then we'll see. Probably Casting Chrome. <clears throat> the dude I've been to chat is laughing at my waiting area for conquest. I hope you like it, dude. That's kind of slow on two mana, only one cost violet. But I'm not gonna complain about that, obviously. Right, let's use my mana crystal from my hand to no over overdraw cards in the future. And I'm not going to lose health by hitting it, hitting Violet. Hopefully he doesn't have any lightning vials or stuff like that. And I guess he doesn't because he wouldn't bother attacking, which is good. Alright, but his board is already looking uh, scary. So let's see it. Do I want to ramp very quickly with this and maybe wet that? Or do I want to keep Rise from Scratch for Festival of Cannon? Um Hmm. Probably I want to keep keep it for it. For this, maybe. So let's play Casket for now. And maybe in the future chill. Maybe this. Yeah, I'm. I'm not sure yet. He probably will be able to, to, to fire the glory effect. With Death King, but that's okay. Is Eclipse coming with the one mana mana crystal? Then I will play Wet Dead on my my casket. Mm, it's fair ticket. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see if I'm gonna get Flame Phoenix or it's Flames Phoenix. Fine. So I guess I can play. I can actually clear the board with those two cards. Or actually, even this. But if I play this, I don't have anything useful. So let's do Flame Phoenix. And get one more max mana. Alright. And let's clear, clear the board. 
Now we have a nice defensive tools like Festival of Cannon and next turn playing Rise from Scratch. Very, very cool, very cool. And still 26 health. And perhaps on 9 mana casting Chrome into Pharonis, we'll see. He cannot su even suicide Wildland, Wildland Biker. <laughs> Which is which is funny. All right, let's play Festival Cannon. Maybe Ancient Rise next. All right, so far so good. But Typo has almost full hand, so it's very dangerous. This so is Zoe. I need to watch out. Hmm. Yeah, I think now we are playing Ancient Rise. Let's go and let's ramp up more. A very powerful spell. <coughs> Now I have my festival cannon at the bottom of my grave. So Pharonis will fish out festival cannon, very useful. Game looks looks kind of good and I don't mind that he actually dusted this one. I really don't mind. All right. So let's bring out Pharonis. Yep. Let's do that. <clears throat> I forgot uh, after the third tip, I forgot to show uh, the functionality how you can easily uh, copy your your opponent's deck. So if you don't know. Uh, Check out after this game, if I don't forget. It's basically in your match history, as, as the replays are. Alright, now uh, Rise from Scrub will give me Pharonis, that will bring back Old Foggy to get even more max mana. <coughs> <clears throat> All right. Ooh, that's a very good, very good spell to get, so I can clear the board again. And let's get... Uh, Pharonis again. And let's draw some cards, I suppose. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Looking good, looking good. Have a spell against the uh, Wall of Dead. I'm prepared, I think. Alright, Mr. Typo, 14. What's your move? So from um, from Eclipse we can get Subjugate for sure, because it's the only light card left in my deck. And as a dark card it's Jar of Souls or Rising Doom. Alright. Right, he managed to to do nasty things to me, but that's okay, that's okay. Let me uh, think what I want to do. Let me think. 
How about unrooting myself, playing Festival of Canon and killing off my... I mean, first f killing off Eclipse. So it's going to be 10 mana. Yeah, let's do that. I like this idea. Do I want to heal also? Because I will overdraw this card. So I, do I want to heal? I mean, I'm gonna overdraw this card anyway, so I might as well heal, right? Alright, let's do this. Let's do this, let's kill off my Eclipse. And let's kill my own cannon. Alright. 11 health to go. So if he's not careful, I might be able to deal maybe lethal. I have Festival of Cannon that can deal 9 damage from this spell. Hollow is asking in the Twitch chat, are you streaming until notes? No, actually when this when this run is over, I will end the stream. So if I lose this one, this this game, but I, I don't think I will, but maybe because he has some... Oh, he, he played Gift of Kai. So actually it's dangerous because he will deal a lot of damage to me. So my, I, I might, might actually... Okay, so I'm playing this and this to heal. This is very important. So I heal. All right, let's do that. So I deal additional five, da five life steal damage, and now I have fourteen damage in my grave. But if he has cannon, and if he has cannon and Phoenix Plume, he can deal the de lethal right now. So the stream might be over after this, and I think it is because his deck is basically empty. So he probably has Phoenix Plum, so good game to Typo 14. He actually won this game. Well done, well done, I was not able to. So one more turn and I would win the game, but he was able to be first. That's how difficult and close the games are in Conquest mode. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this Conquest uh, advanced guide. I hope you enjoyed yourself and look! I won a silver cannon, it's actually quite good as a silver card. Very nice, I can trade it with others on the market also. So guys, let me put on some music. Let's move, let's move to the studio for the parting words. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the Conquest edition of the stream. So, tomorrow, same time, 3 p.m. Central European time. Then I'm still... I, I have to stop at at even two hours because if I go overboard, I st I'm starting rumbling, as you can see. Guys, tomorrow, 3 p.m. Central European time. That's it. That's when I stream. It's puzzle time from the mighty uh, Cytus, from the one of the greatest community members. So join me then. But for now, that's it. That's it from me. So thank you for joining me. And see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.